Um, I first got interested in jazz when I was in my latter years of high school, first years of college. Uh, I could hear jazz on the radio. I could hear Miles Davis. And I could hear uh, Dave Brubeck and Charlie Parker and uh, the big bands, Count Basie, Duke Ellington. And uh, I can remember going to to dances that uh, my wife and I would go to at different venues around Cleveland. Uh, uh, it was uh, a lake, I uh, can't remember, it was Conneaut Lake maybe it was, and uh, we would there'd be a jazz band playing after my wife and uh, now my wife, I was going with her and I was in the first years of college, we would go out for a date and uh, probably about a mile and a half from where she lived, uh, there was a, a small bar, restaurant, we'd go there, have something to eat after a date, and uh, there'd be a jazz piano trio playing. Excellent. That. Are you a musician? Uh, I play at the harmonica, but uh, yeah, I sound better if you've had a few drinks and we're by a campfire. Okay. You've been involved with Jazz Erie since the beginning, right? I think I missed the first one or two meetings of Jazz Erie. But I heard that uh, there was a group starting up that we're going to foster jazz. And uh, I've been used to seeing jazz wherever I've lived, uh, including Cleveland, where I was, and Detroit. I can remember after we studied uh, as an engineering, we studied until 2 in the morning. And we go to a jazz venue by the Detroit River. You had to be careful what line you got into there. One line was to get in the cafe, the other was the cat house. You had to be careful with that. But uh, and, uh, and in Washington, D.C., uh, my wife and I saw jazz uh, there, too, on our honeymoon. Um, I think it was Sarah Vaughan who was, who was singing when we went to Washington, D.C. for our honeymoon. We spent a four-year honeymoon when I was going to law school. But again, we started out with Sarah Vaughan singing to us beautifully at the top of some hotel. Nice. And back in the beginning of Jazz Erie, if I remember correctly, you started off offering to help take care of the grant applications and so on. Was that your first involvement of, you know, really getting involved with Jazz Erie? I think that was the first real work that I did. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking for to get grant grants from different groups that would help us to put on concerts. And so I worked with that. And uh, also, for the Jazz and Blues Walk, I had been to Harrisburg for a meeting. I had seen their Jazz and Blues Walk. They started out at a hotel uh, where they had uh, Ray Brown Trio, uh, and then they went off on their walk later than we started. And so we did different things for the Jazz and Blues Walk, but yes, yeah. the combination of that and the grant writing that's how I really started out doing the work. And then you took a turn as president of Jazz Erie. What prompted that? Well, I was vice president for about five or six or seven years, and the board finally said, look, it's about your turn. <laughs> and frankly, I enjoyed it. I was president for two years and uh, had a great time. I got to be more involved with, uh, with some of the events and uh, the people who were promoting jazz in Erie, and uh, the great people and uh, fostering jazz, promoting jazz. So many of them through the years that I can remember. I just bring in jazz, jazz on. What do you think that, that uh, younger folks who aren't necessarily into jazz or haven't been exposed to jazz or think they don't necessarily like jazz, what, what message would you give to them at this point? I think what they have to do is, is sit down and listen to some concerts listen to two or three different kinds of jazz. You're gonna find it, that there's really a lot of excitement. There's jazz that is extremely exciting. Uh, some of it uh, is a little way out. Some of it uh, has some rock aspects to it. Others of it has very subtle uh, beats and aspects to it. Depending on the kind of music someone likes, you can find a lot of jazz that's really uh, in line with what you like. Latin jazz is is really something that uh, a lot of young people can get into very easily because uh, it can be very exciting. Cool. Thank you, Ed.